Hi everyone and welcome to my unboxing video of Death and Request Kochi Death and Box. Um, so it's a third game in the Death and Request series and one of the selling points I suppose <laughs> during the promotion of the game in Japan was how it got how it was first game in the series to get zero C rating in Japan, which is basically the mm, highest possible age rating console game console game can get in Japan. So just a little warning. It is a horror game and there is a chance that there's some kind of mm, grotesque bloody artwork in some of the art books. I haven't seen them but just a little warning. That is, that is a possibility. I don't want to <laughs> cause any nightmares for anyone, so <laughs> I wanted to give you a little warning. Kind of uh, drastic, cha drastic change from previous game we unboxed a couple of weeks ago, which was so overly cute and colorful, and now we are unboxing a horror game. And you already see kind of weird choice here. There's two separate boxes. Um, the smaller one is the basic limited edition of the game. And this larger box is like the additional content of the more expensive dead end box. And this small box is like pre-order bonus that comes with all um, editions of the game, including the standard um, I don't think I have seen similar mm, style for these limited editions before, like having separate boxes. Um, there has been a lot of like these different, could I say, tiers of limited editions, but they have always had like one box for all the content instead of having the more cheaper box separately from the more expensive content. But <laughs> there could have been some similar um, packaging designs like this because I most often I just pick the <laughs> cheaper limited edition instead of the more expensive version. Yeah, let's take a quick look at both of the boxes here. So this is the limited edition box. Backside has a simple design here. And front side, we have the new main character on the front and some of the main characters of previous games on the back side. They are now more like side characters in this new entry, I believe. And yeah, <laughs> I do like the design here. Already giving you the horror vibes. And for this dead end box, it has the same artwork of the main character, but it is much harder to see. I am actually surprised how well the camera picks up the artwork there. And this box even more plain backside. So yeah, funny design that they have <laughs> two completely separate boxes. But because I love this artwork, I am <laughs> glad that we got this user. Oh, it even says here the special edition, which is the cheaper of the two limited editions. Inside here we have the game, of course. Original soundtrack CD.
and data entry request code C, visual artworks. So not a huge art book. From quick <laughs> peek, it seems to be safe to show here nothing too <laughs> graphic in there, at least as a quick glance, so no need to be worried about that book. I am more concerned of the so-called Note C book in here, but we'll see. And that said, book is right away our first item in the dead end box <laughs> and already giving you cautions and warnings. But I believe these are more like warnings about the gameplay spoilers here. Okay, there is also a warning about grotesque content inside. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> that book might need a little extra warning, but I should still be able to show it. And here we have original voice drama CD. I believe the voiced drama story is also in a written form in here, as the, but I'm not sure. I think so. I might be <laughs> guessing wrong. And I think this is already, already the last item here, packed in a separate box. Do we open it already or do we <laughs> leave the surprise at the end? I suppose let's open this is so it's already open. Take a better look at it. Okay, it's in pieces, so I do still need to assemble it. But yeah, there, is, there we already see some of the artwork from the note C box. And inside here is a alarm clock, which ended up being a little bit surprised. Surprise for me about the alarm clock, but let's talk in more detail of it When we <laughs> take a look at it, it's still in another box. I'll leave that for <laughs> later When we take a better look at it, but I think that's all the contents in here Quite huge box for mm, I suppose they <laughs> didn't have a chance to, oh, of course, the art book took that much space, so yeah, it's kind of awkward <laughs> to have so much empty space here, but I suppose that nothing could have been done about that. Oh, I almost forgot, where did I put the pre-order item here? So it's some sort of stamp and stamp card. I suppose let's start from the pre-order item with it, which is the most common item of these because it comes with all editions of the game. So inside we have <laughs> simply a stamp and because of it because it's a horror game of course it's simply a <laughs> blood splash which is kind of a weird i have no idea where i where i <laughs> would use this stamp ever but i suppose it's fitting for the theme of the game Uh, 
I wanted to get it out, but yeah, simple little blood <laughs> splash. And inside here we have uh, some sort of stamp card featuring artwork of the game box. Yep. And in the stamp card we have characters from the game. And I suppose you could use this for like some sort of mm, making notes about um, completing like missions for the characters, so stamping on the characters, but I don't want to ruin <laughs> card like this. I mean, it's meant for keeping track of what you have done in the game, but I don't want to <laughs> ruin the little cute card with all the characters in it. So yeah, a little funny pre-order bonus. Next. I suppose let's go through the special edition items. Starting with the original soundtrack CD. sort of train there and I'm guessing it's going quite fast from all the lightning and shots. And on the front cover like train station. So yeah I'm guessing we are traveling with trains in this game. Maybe what is the poster there? <laughs> Already paying attention to the de details of the world. So 32 tracks. Sounds like a full soundtrack. And yeah, the themes of the game can be already seen in some of the track titles and the same artwork as on the special edition cover but without colors and of course credits for the tracks so yeah Suppose let's take a quick look inside the game box next. Is it the same train station on the background of this artwork as well? So yeah, definitely seems like trains have some sort of special meaning in the story and yeah from the screenshots people who are familiar with previous games they already noticed that the genre of the game has changed it's now more like this top-down dungeon crawler roguelike mm, or I suppose some people call this mystery dungeons because of um, is it because of the Pokemon series? I've never played those Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, but I hear that <laughs> name for this genre of games quite often. Maybe I should <laughs> give those games a try at some point.
but I do like this genre. And there is two <laughs> few games in that genre these days. Got a huge amount of artwork inside the box. And I suppose we could now skip the art book and start going through the smaller items of the dead end box, but I do want to <laughs> go through all the special edition items first, so let's go through this art book now and leave the, all the dead end box contents at the end of the video. So, the visual artworks of the Dead End Request Code G. And inside here, index, package illustration, so cover arts, character artwork, about half of the art book, simply characters, some 3D color, map color, world, dead end and design rough. So more like concept artwork. So starts with the cover arts of the standard edition and special edition. And then we have the new main character of the story Sayaka Hibatari and quick mm, introduction of the character um, voice actor and also designers, commentary, and some facial expressions, and her casual and fighting form. And next we have characters that are familiar from previous games. Shina Nina Mia and my Toyama Yurisa Yamamura. Giving less page space for it, um, more like side characters compared to the more main characters. Lilith Yamamura. Hinata Morikuba. I like the little detail of um, how um, the names are written here in the Japanese title, like usual, family name first and then the first name but then change in the <laughs> um, English title to the opposite. Starting with the first name and then <laughs> family name. Kaed Izumi. And Huki Izumi. So they are like these 
its forms of the character because the story of the game is like um, this glitched or corrupted um, game world that has captured some people inside of it and in the story they kind of change into these glitch forms to become more powerful and use the word glitches against it. Svetlana Amo and Kiki Amo. I love this <laughs> costume designs. And Clovalina. Liliana Pinata. Such an adorable dress there. And Rotten Doll Heart. Iris and Alice Nova and Levin. So now we are even more of the side characters because they don't have those glitch forms anymore Werner Gluck Oh, even more interesting detail about the names here now that we have like foreign character his name is written in, in the Japanese title opposite from the Japanese characters. That's kind of interesting little detail. Koji Toyama. Snark. And Siri Sendo. Inishi Yamamura and Sugiura and <laughs> shop assist assistant not even given a name for shop assistant and now we are going into these now uh, main characters special forms when they are after the glitz mode, there's also this kind of like some sort of blood rage modes or something. So Sayaka's one one kush form here that we can see on the front cover of the special edition. So yeah, same Sayaka, simply a different form of her. Pass the list then. Oh. I suppose these forms can be a little revealing. Glitz Lily. 
let's lose it. Let's all. Let's select. And let's clap. <laughs> then we have themed. Quite. I suppose glitzy <laughs> design of her. So distorted looking character. Next, Arata Mizunasi. And another four of him. Important character in the story working on the um, backside or backline, or how do you? How should you put it? And next we have 3D color of the characters, how they look in the game. So yeah, because of the new style of the gameplay, now they have much more like this mm, kind of chippy style um, 3D versions of the characters. So they fit into the top down view nicely it just feels a little bit weird to see chip style chippy style characters like this in a horror game but yeah <laughs> feels a little bit weird but yeah <laughs> probably I will get used to it as soon as I start playing the game. Mm -hmm. And also some environments that you visit during your gameplay. It's nice how there's completely different style for the each dungeon. Also some background artwork seen during the dialogue scenes as well as the world map. It seems like the like it's the same world map but the glitches have <laughs> taken over the part of the city here I wonder if that's some sort of like gameplay mechanic that happens sometimes or it's like um, some sort of story based genes and here we have the train that was somewhere was it on the Soundtrack CD, I believe so. And some story scenes 
Oh, there we can see already some of the more bloody scenes. Oh, there was <laughs> these dead end scenes here as well. So if you don't want to see any <laughs> kind of horror content, skip a few seconds here. Because yeah, I can see why the game got higher age rating than previous games in the series. These are going quite a lot more disturbing than the previous games. And next we have some colorless pages of concept faces of the characters. And I like how there's so much little notes here. Here, yeah, concept sketch of the new character. interesting. Here's some of the early concepts for the cover art, but it has changed completely, giving more space for the new main character compared to the early sketches. Here's the <laughs> first sketch of the special edition cover. It's pretty much the one that they went for in the end. The words is different. Um, pointing in different <laughs> direction, but otherwise it's very similar for the final final cover. But then they were considering also different look. I like how they <laughs> went with this one instead of this one. And some concept skits of other characters as well. I'm guessing there's not all of the characters because the majority of them are from previous games. Unless there were some design changes like costumes or something. But for the new characters we have these concept sketches, of course. And on the last page, some emblems that you can see in the game world. So yeah, that was the visual artworks. So one book <laughs> done, but we have another one left for later. Now we are going into these dead end box items. I suppose let's again start from the disc. 
course there's not much to show here. Especially because there's not any booklet or even covers on this case. Simply a CD in this usual um, jewelry case <laughs> is the name of the CD cases, I believe. So, yeah, it's original voice drama, including the characters from the game and simply voice acted story and of course it's in Japanese so it's fun way to practice your language <laughs> skill if you're trying to learn Japanese I suppose let's leave the note C for last item and now let's finally take a look at this <laughs> Weird little item in here. So originally when I was thinking about do I want to do I simply buy the special edition or do I want to <laughs> spend a little bit more money and get the dead end box? When I saw this item I was thinking like oh it's an alarm clock that is that has like voice lines from the main characters I thought okay that's kind of cute because I've been wanting like dedicated mm, alarm clock on my nightstand so I can leave my phone in living room when I go to sleep and such and I thought okay it has like voice lines of the game so it's kind of cute if they are like um, saying hi to you and wishing you a good morning. But yeah, <laughs> when the game arrived, I was taking a second look at the, uh, all the items, more <laughs> paying more attention. That I saw the word secure, and I was a little bit worried. Why is what does it say? screaming voice and I take a better look at some of the websites promotional materials and I realized I'm never going to use the voice alarms of this alarm clock because instead of being like cute good morning message or something like that it has the voice lines from like um, those death end scenes so the main characters are screaming for help while they are dying so that's kind of disturbing and messed up I have no idea who would ever want to wake up into someone screaming for help I, I don't understand <laughs> the point of this alarm clock It seems just messed up to me, but yeah. I should have already guessed from seeing the artwork on the clock. Does it go in here? Yeah. But when I was pre-ordering the game, I didn't pay that much attention to the <laughs> contents here. So yeah. Now I have this kind of nightmares alarm clock and I have no idea what to do with this. <laughs> because yeah, I don't want to see this as last thing when I go to sleep. I would say it's just nightmares. But yeah, here we have controls and speaker for the clock system and alarms and such. I'm guessing you need, yeah, you need screwdriver to put in batteries so there's no 
I'm guessing there's no batteries. Nothing happens from any of the buttons. But I suppose that's only a cool thing because I don't want to <laughs> play the screaming sounds from the alarm clock here. But yeah, yes, display for the time and info about the alarm and such. Annoys me how I wasn't able to push the acrylic panel. Oh, that was quite loud, I believe. I might have to <laughs> edit that out, but now it's completely pushed in, I believe. So yeah, cute idea if the artwork would be nicer and, or <laughs> I suppose, of the usual character artwork and if the alarm voice was more positive instead of these screaming noises. I would probably end up using it, but as it is now, I'm going probably put it back in the box and never look at it again. <laughs> but yeah, I suppose let's now go through this note C. Another visual book in here and it has some warnings about um, gameplay spoilers and also the grotesque artwork inside. Because yeah, here are included these double dead end scenes. But I suppose let's try to go through this side see if I can <laughs> take a look at here because yeah the artwork I suppose it's nice that there's this kind of filter of these numbers and such in front so you can see the details but yeah I wonder if the drama CD also includes these because there's the like the voice lines of the dead end scenes here but yeah for all the characters have these like double dead end scenes I suppose the double dead end is like new feature in the game on top of the usual dead ends from the previous games I believe that was <laughs> last one of them, but yeah. Oh, here's the code D story. So I believe this might be the story in the drama CD, maybe. So you can follow the script here if you are having trouble with understanding the voice lines. So that's nice, makes it easier to follow the drama CD when you have the full script here. Of course, if you are <laughs> like me and have practiced mainly to read Japanese instead of learning like the um, understanding the spoken language. But yeah, caution was and the warnings were um, in the place 
<laughs> because of those double dead end scenes. So yeah, I believe that's all. I do like the special edition. I like having a full soundtrack and visual art book was mm, pretty usual. So yeah, rather basic special edition. Also coming with the little pre-order bonus stamp and stamp card of the Dead End box. It has uh, more special items like the drama CD and of course I haven't had an alarm clock with any of my limited editions. I just would have hoped that it doesn't have so disturbing imagery on it and especially so disturbing voice alarms in it because yeah I don't think I ever I'm ever going to use that as an alarm clock as I intended when I was <laughs> pre-ordering this edition because yeah I don't want to wake up to someone screaming for help and of course the not see book having the so-called double dead end scenes from the game. So if you <laughs> like the grotesque horror, of course the dead end <laughs> box is perfect for you. For me it might be a little too much, <laughs> but yeah, I look forward to trying the game after playing such a cute game before it and suddenly jumping into just such a horrifying horror game. But yeah, I hope I didn't cause you nightmares and thank you for watching and bye!